Trying to get the thing to land inverted. <laughs> see that guy looking at it? That's crazy. I've never been on a tank like this before, so there it is. See how it's inverted right there? Just a little snap twitch, and it rolls over. So when, when I had them manufactured, I told them to make a little extra wing material and a little extra tail material. That way the, the angler can trim them. I didn't want the manufacturer to try to trim the bird exactly perfect, because then if they came up short, then we would have a lure that couldn't be fixed. So when you get your lure, your bird, out of the box, you want to trim your front wings to two inches on each side, and then you want to do five-eighths on the back wing, and then I go about an inch and a quarter on the rear tail. If you have too much wing on there, it'll make the bird hard to roll over. But my friends all say they don't care if the bird lands upside down anyway, because if a bird's flying through the trees and it falls in the water, sometimes they're upside down anyhow. But it should have happened, it'll, it'll roll over. But it's only maybe one out, one out of five where it's inverted. And, and just leave it in the strike zone, you know. Find that skinny shade, you want calm water when you're fishing top water, you want shade. There's a lot of current in this pool right here. You getting that, Dano? But there's the bird, like especially the delta, we'll just let it float when you got the tide rolling out of the delta. You just let this bird just roll in and bounce around those toolies as it goes down and the fish will come up and clobber it. And I think the key to this bait right here is the fact that it stays in the strike zone for a lot longer and it doesn't sink. And you know, when the bass is sitting there along that tree stump and you throw this bird in there and he hears that splash above him, he sees that, that profile of that bird sitting right above him right there. That's free meal. He's having poultry today.